Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So guys, today I'll show you this amazing render technique inside of 3ds Max. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. <laughs> So guys, you are right now in 3ds Max version 2018 and uh, if you notice this, this is my character and this is already pre-rigged, see, this character is actually uh, standing up like this. So how you can download this kind of character, but if you have your own 3D rigged model, you can use that. So first of all, I am just going to this MiAxmo site, it's MiAxmo.com and I already made a video on that in detailed video, you can see in front of your screen right now. If you want to learn how to use in MiAxmo, how to do everything stuffs and all, you can see these videos, you just click and learn. Okay, so I'm just skipping this part and I'm just going again to 3ds Max right now and uh, let's see like this is my animation and if you notice the animation length is from 0 to uh, 332 frames it's around 300 frames more than 300 frames so but i want few frames uh, uh, for beginning purpose because i want few frames in beginning and few frames after he stand up okay so it means i uh, around like 20 frames in beginning and 20 frames in end so what i have to do i have to change my timeline settings so from here timeline configuration just click here and after that see my end time is 332 frames so let's make it like 400 or yes 400 is good enough then press ok so now what happened the timeline is now increased in uh, 400 frames so now select all this now you can see all the keyframes are here okay so just select all those keyframes like this and just drag it to the middle of this timeline uh, like I want this much area is fine so now you can see uh, if you select this this area is right now blank and this area is right now blank so the thing is now the animation will start from here okay it will not start from here so first of all what I have to do the main thing is my, my if you can notice that that uh, thing is like I have to create some cloth animation but the character will not visible that's my trick so first of all what I have to do I'm just going here and take a plane just go to the top view and uh, let's draw it like this let's make it little more bigger yep this is fine and uh, after that position it sorry after that position this plane like this and uh, then just turn this off grid by pressing G you can turn off and on this grid and then I'm changing the length segments and width segments to like 100 by 100 so right now it's very high detailed segment and uh, let's do it like this so select it and move it to the top like this cool so it means like it will drop to this character then the character will uh, get up it will automatically get in shape so i'm just making it like this much area is fine because 20 frame is very less so let's make it here okay fine now i want to create a floor for this so just select this one and uh, just uh, take a new plane go to the top view and uh, let's make it like this and change the length segments to like one by one and let's make the scale value to 500 so right now it will not calculate it in only this much area because this is this will calculate like a very big area because the scale value is right now 500 okay so now rename it like it like floor let's rename it like a cloth okay so this is fine after that then just right click object properties and display as box and then just press ok so right now you can see this one as a box okay now click this and from here i'm going to standard to my performance mode so right now what happened the performance will be more increased okay then uh, what you have to do i just have to take from modify list some cloth c l o t h cloth like this and right now uh, I'm have to go into this object properties option and over there you can see this panel will popped up object properties there are so many options just leave all this and just I have to add few things here so just go to add object you can see there are alpha joint alpha surface and floor so first of all what I have to do I'm just taking this floor and press add like this okay so right now the floor is added now I have to add this character as well so just press ok first and let's select this character okay so before selecting this character from here i'm just going to this helpers and just select all and then right click hide selection so right now only the mesh is right now visible okay cool then i have to go from here all and after that i have to select all this so now go to here 
and go to object properties and after that from here click add and you can see the only alpha joint alpha surface is there just press add okay so right now i have alpha surface alpha joint and alpha uh, and the floor okay so now cloth let's make it select the floor and let's make it like collision object because the meaning of the collision object is when what is the collider collider and the collision object both are different okay now see this is my cloth which will collide with this floor so that's why this floor is our collision object and this will be our cloth like select the cloth and make it to the cloth here and alpha joint and alpha surface should be also in collision object and let's check the floor alpha surface alpha joint and the cloth is cloth now change the preset to let's make it like a cotton okay because cotton is very useful to use in cloth simulation and after that check again because sometimes what happened the bug was there so when you change anything in this cloth properties the this option will automatically turned off now what you have to do select all these three and from here depth to press 2 and offset press 2 okay then just press okay after that go down here you can see there are a few options with them okay so i'm just turn on the self collision object and just press it one it means both segments will be collision in each other okay they don't do any other objects properties change okay now what you have to do you have to do a simulate local but what happened when you click simulate local it will done when it will done the simulation it will stop there on that particular frame you can't see the entire animation so what you have to do you just have to press this simulate option so just press simulate option now it's starting simulation see the cloth is going down and uh, let's see the when the simulation will be done i'll get back to you so let's fast forward this entire simulation properties So uh, the simulation is right now done. So when I play this, you can see it will looking really awesome. See the tension and all everything is really uh, creating the good effect for cloth. Okay, so this is fine. Now what I have to do, I have to create some cool camera animations. Okay, and that will be creating processes very easy. I'm not doing manual thing. I'm doing automatic thing. I don't know that guys, you already aware of that or not. So I'll show you right now. Okay, so first of all, what you have to do, I'm just going here to this uh, splines option. Over there, you can see there are so many like line, rectangle, circle, ellipse, arc, and all neon, so helix. I'm taking this helix option. Just click in between and just drag it like this and just make it like this so right now what happened it will create one cool path like this okay so now what i have to do i have to take a camera okay so press ctrl c now press p for perspective now the camera is created now i want the camera should be animate on this path so how you can do that just go to this anim uh, animation process go to this constant and after that you can see that it's called path constant when you click this path constant one line will be creating like this and then just click to this path now see automatically the camera will go to this path and when you play you can see this camera is actually following this path cool right now what you have to do go to this camera view and you can simply play it and see your animation is right now done now you have to adjust something okay so first of all what you have to do i am going here i'm just changing my width to like uh, let's make it specific focus a little more back so that I want the entire character properly then make it here okay so in this frame I want to see the entire character so how you can do that this perspective first and after that what you have to do so you have to increase this path so just increase it like this and now you can see this is entirely process is fine now press again camera view yep this is fine now I don't see this character right now right so press P again and now click to this one okay now what I have to do I'm just going to first frame from here turn auto key and set this click a keyframe here go to the last frame press C and just make it to the top like this and simply make one keyframe so now what happened it's look like this really amazing right the animations are very smooth so it's a shortcut way to create some cool camera animations and after that the main thing which is i have to hide this character so how you can do that select this character right click object properties turn this renderable option off and should be hide and then just press ok so right now only these joints are visible click again same thing object properties 
render will turn this off and hide and then just press ok so right now only the cloth is visible cool right now what I have to do I'm just want the animations to start from here like around 19 number frame so now go here and uh, just go here and change the start frame to 19 then just press ok so now what happened the animation will start from here so that it will look really amazing see wow the cloth is looking nice now if you notice there is some uh, sharpness is here so if you want you can add some shell option like called depth so just here take a shell like this and when you add some shell it will automatically increasing and giving some depth like this and after that you can add a turbo smooth so that it will create a smooth cloth effect now add turbo smooth now see the cloth is now it now looking far better than the previous now after that what you have to do you just have to give a cool texture and lighting and then rendering so when everything will be seen completely you can see your render in front of your screen which will exactly look like this so guys this is it for today i know this is very simple tutorial but sometimes what happened the simple is far better than the critical one so i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if yes then don't forget to subscribe my channel vfx world because we are very soon to cross 10k subscribers on youtube and i will make a most exciting q and a session video for 10k subscriber crossing reason so if you have any queries related to anything then please feel free to ask me and if you can't comment here you can go to my any kind of social networking handle like instagram facebook twitter and you can dm me over there link is in description and i will see you in my next video with some more exciting content tutorials till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking vfx world